Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. The three simple ways any business can increase their sales. Now, obviously, things are starting to get open now and you will start noticing that there's some restaurants out there that people are lining up for. You know, there are products that people pre-order in you know, months in advance or people buying from Amazon and there's tickets that are selling out on the day that they're actually released. Not because people are longing to start their life all over again, but just because these businesses have mastered the way to increase sales in their business. And today I'm going to try and, you know, show you that sometimes the best methods um, in getting sales in your business are usually hidden in plain sight. Now, do you ever wonder why there are consultants who are booked six months in advance and there's hairstylists that, you know, charge 10 times more than others? And, you know, there's furniture that you can't just walk into the shop and buy. You actually have to pre-order. And there's bottle of, bottles of wine that you purchase while their grapes are still hanging on the vine there are people who don't chase clients and their clients are actually chasing them now wouldn't that be a nice um endeavor so that you can actually be do have a business that's profitable and enjoyable you know i've yet to speak to an entrepreneur who doesn't want more sales who doesn't want to grow their business and generating more sales obviously isn't easy but the simpler you know the simple ways that you can actually get this done will blow your mind after this episode today. And it's actually much simpler than many business owners think. You know, after a decade of, you know, working, learning, and also teaching other businesses to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, and also how to improve their sales, I've distilled that they are maybe three simple ideas that you can actually help you create more sales now, even if things are as tough as they are, okay? Number one is to raise your prices. Number two is to sell the same thing to the same people or sell more of the same thing to the same people. And easy enough, just add new customers, okay? So half of the time we try and do things that are difficult or look for the next shiny object, but we forget to actually look at the one thing that could, um, you know, increase our revenue, which is to raise your prices. Think, think about that for a second. When was the last time you actually raised your prices? Maybe it's been a few years or just pre-COVID and, you know, why are you still using prices from ages ago? What would be possible if you actually just raised your price, prices by, say, 5 to 10%? Now, if you stop using discounts as a tactic or as a way to close more business, do you know that most of your customers won't even notice? All right. Say you are a consultant and you bill maybe per hour, which I advise against most of the time. But let's say that's how you work, you know, and you're billing 40 hours a week for, say, 50 of the weeks that we have in a year. That's a total of 2000 billable hours. I know you're impressed with my mathematical skills, but if you increase the rate of, um, you know, your your prices by at least 10%, say from $80 to about $88, you will actually increase your sales by $16,000 a year. Now, 
I don't know about you, but $16,000 is a great chunk of change that you can literally start using to either put in your investment or invest back in your business, okay, or in your marketing. But how do you actually increase maybe your hourly rate from $80 to $88? One way you can actually subtly increase your hourly rate is to move from a flat rate per project, which requires maybe a little front-end mathematics um, to ac accurately estimate the number of hours a project is going to take. But it's one way to actually raise your revenue without you having to discuss your hourly rate. Why don't you start charging per project? Because if you start charging per hour, half of the time your clients will start counting every hour that you haven't delivered to them and they think it's actually not worth the value that you're giving to them. So raising your rates is especially effective for you know, a new customer because they have no point of reference of where um, to, to, to gauge upon where, where your prices were prior. And talking about adding new customers, for you to stay in business long enough, you will experience, you know, the ebb and flow of customers. Some will leave because they no longer want your services. Some will actually die and, you know, you can't keep charging them. Or some people within a corporate setup will move on to another job and you have to start yet another relationship with the new person in charge. It's just how it goes. And some of these things, you can't change it. So in fact, I actually tell my consulting customers and clients to expect a certain number of clients to leave each year. Half of the time, people leave because of their own discretion. And you can't force them to stay with you. It's, it just doesn't work like that. So if your business is not adding new customers at the top of your funnel, then you are literally dying. The solution is simple. Set a goal of adding 5 to 10% new customers each year. Now, here's the part about new customers. They don't usually think twice about your newly increased rates because they don't know anything different. They don't have a point of reference, all right? So you want to look through your customers that you have right now. Which ones are actually paying you more? And go out and look for more of the same type of customer. Because at the end of the day, the more customers you add, the more opportunities you have to bill someone who will be paying for your um, lifestyle and everything else that comes along with it. Or the reason why you went into business. So staying with that, um, you know, uh, consultant example uh, that I mentioned earlier on. So if you're currently doing that 2000 hours that we spoke about and you've grown your customer base by, say, 10 percent, that would at a minimum increase your billable hours from 2000 to 2200. And that's a 10 percent increase you know, at the rate of $88 that we spoke about, which will result in an increase of 17600 Now, 17600 would make a huge difference to your mortgage. 17600 would make a difference to that holiday you've been hanging to go on to. I mean, maybe you don't want to work more hours. No problem. Partner or contract with other, you know, people that you can outsource the work to that actually accept a lowerly hourly rate and make and keep your rate the same and then pass along the work to them. What that does is it increases the hours that you absolutely can perform or provide value. OK, and once you've gotten those customers work super hard to maintain those customers so that you can sell your customers something else. OK, now this is the most practical thing. Look at the customers that are you're working with right now. How many are able to buy more from you? How many are able to become repeat purchasers? Because if somebody buys something more from you, that's additional revenue that would have come in um, without you having to look for new customers. Because people buy stuff from those that they know, like, and trust. Now, you already have the advantage of having these people already knowing you, liking you, and trusting you. Why not add, you know, the 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 
wallet share or how much they're paying you every single month so instead of you increasing billable hours you can actually increase the wallet share or the customer spend in order for you to increase your revenue and this is most practical but a lot of people ignore this because we spend far too much time trying to bring customers into our world or into our business but we do nothing to retain those people or to try and sell them more stuff okay it's far easier to do more to do more for existing customers than to get a new one and it's much more easier to call your existing customers and offer them a new service or a new product than it is to sell your services to a new company or to a new business existing customers have already seen the quality of the work that you do they already trust you and they are already referring people to you so once somebody has paid you a bit of money you already have their credit card credentials guess what it's just a matter of saying would you like fries with that now it's time for you to actually check at your existing customers and find ways that you can actually expand your offering and add more additional services. And if we go back to that consultant example that we have been talking um, about all along, you can actually create an additional stream of, say, 220 new billable hours. You know, at that new rate of $88, if only 10% of your customers took advantage of a new offering. Now, this would in result in a sales increase of, say, 19360 a little shy off of $20,000. Now, can you imagine if you are adding an additional $20,000 every single year to your revenue right now, at a minimum, what would you be, where would you be in four, five, six, seven years? You know, sometimes the best opportunities are usually the simplest ones. And if you implement just one of these tactics, you will be able to grow your business by leaps and bounds in a year's time. I really want you to go from the low revenues that you're going through, say, within the next two years, so you can actually be doing, have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.